Buenos días a todos, quiero darles la bienvenida, agradecerles por acompañarnos en este evento. Mi nombre es Alejandra Zapata y hago parte del equipo de Ingeniería Académica y Relaciones Internacionales de Confutur. Hoy nos acompaña Darren, quien es representante de Erasmus University of Rotterdam, International Institute of Social Studies. Nos estará brindando información en esta sesión acerca de la oferta académica que tienen disponible eh, también cómo iniciar su proceso de postulación y algunas opciones de financiación. Adicionalmente a esto, estará hablando del convenio que tienen con Colfuturo, el cual actualmente otorga un descuento del 20% en el valor de la matrícula para todos los beneficiarios de Colfuturo admitidos en los programas del Instituto. A lo largo de la historia de Colfuturo hemos beneficiado a más de 175 personas con este beneficio, entonces esperamos que esta información sea de gran utilidad para todos ustedes y eh, puedan eh, utilizar la información que Darren pueda darles. Quiero recordarles a todos ustedes que nos pueden seguir en nuestras redes sociales, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, para ver toda la programación, todos los eventos que tenemos disponibles y en nuestro portal web colfuturo.org también pueden registrarse en, en el calendario para todos los eventos futuros. Estos videos van a estar en, en nuestro canal de YouTube, entonces si pueden visitarlos también pueden encontrar todos los webinars que hemos hecho. Darren, thank you so much for joining us, for your time and for your interest to present the institution. You can start. Well, thank you very much, um, Alejandra, for the introduction. But um, so, well, before I start my presentation, maybe I say a little bit about myself so you know who you're talking, uh, listening to, and also in the future, who you can contact. So uh, my name is Darren, as Ale Alejandra already mentioned, and I'm responsible for uh, the education marketing and recruitment of uh, master students at ISS. So I've been working for ISS for almost seven years. And um, yeah, I've been recruiting students from all over the world. And uh, I also mentioned to Alejandra earlier, 2019, I was in Bogota, Colombia. I uh, was very happy to see the country for the first time. And I wanted to do more exploration to recruit more students in Colombia. But unfortunately, yeah, Corona happened. So um, well, here I am today behind the screen giving this presentation and hopefully um, you will have enough information by the end of my presentation to understand Uh, a little bit more about our program. So without further ado, as you can see in the first page, uh, all of you have uh, uh, the the test. We have the World University Ranking for the subject of development study. And in the world, we are 12. So uh, it's a very good course, and I'm sure that, um, sorry, a very good master program. And I'm sure that if you uh, decide to study at ISS, you'll benefit a lot from it at the end of your um, studies. So, well, uh, we are founded in 1952. So prior to this, uh, we are a standalone institute. And then in 2009, we joined Erasmus University Rotterdam. Uh, Erasmus University is in, the, in Rotterdam, which is another city. But uh, ISS, the International Institute of Social Studies, we are based in The Hague. So it's about 25 minutes away from Rotterdam. So we're not, uh, uh, we are faculty of Erasmus, but based outside of uh, Rotterdam. Uh, we have multicultural learning env environment. Uh, there's always about 40 to 50 nationalities in, uh, in uh, one academic year that will study at ISS. So around 147 to 100, 150 to 180 students every year we have, and about 40 to 50 nationalities come to study at ISS every year. And this also is the same with our international staff and student body, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so I'm going to start my presentation with giving you some facts and figures first. Uh, to show you what kind of students that we have. And then I will start to give information about our master programs, requirements, scholarship information, and our activities that we have. So that is how the presentation will go. Um, so this is the uh, students by continent. So you can see there are six continents here, uh, the largest that comes to ISS. 
Um, Latin America is the third largest continent that comes to ISS, as you can see in the, the slides. Um, so the green, the green bar is this year. So we have this year around 32 or 33 uh, Latin American students, and I believe nine are Colombians. So that's pretty good uh, number of students coming from Colombia. Uh, last year, you can see in the blue, blue bar, uh, it was low uh, because of the pandemic. And then the year before that, 2019 was also not good. But this year, we, we uh, received a lot of applications from students from Latin America. So uh, this is really good. <coughs> so this is where all our students come from. Uh, the average group, group here is now 30, but it has now changed. So I have to change this information. So sorry about this. Now the average age is 27. So uh, the age is dropping because now we're also accepting students who recently graduate, although not many, but we still accept them uh, based on their motivation letter and also based on uh, their background and internship. So uh, that's what uh, we, 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 we accept students. Also students coming from the government, also we accept. Uh, and also uh, people who are doing research, who are in the civil society, in the NGO, and uh, trade unions, and so on. So these are the students we normally accept. But do not worry if you do not fit this kind of background, because we have in the past as well accepted students from different backgrounds and also from different um, uh, qualification. However, uh, if you are not from this background, you have to have a very good motivation letter as to why you want to study at ISS and uh, what you want to do in the future once you graduate from ISS. So the motivation letter is very strong if you do not have the right background. <clears throat> so this are uh, the total number of students we had in the past six years. So you can see at the, bot uh, at the bottom, I, I hope it's clear enough, so uh, in 2016, we had the highest, well, second highest number, uh, 170 students. So, and then 2018, 173, and now we have 146, uh, actually 147 students. We have one last student, uh, student who came last minute. So we have 147 students. Last year, we had a dip because of the Corona pandemic. So we only had 124 students. Uh, now we are 146, and that's, uh, it, the student interest is climbing again, let's say. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are multicultural environment. Uh, every year, I said earlier, 40 to 50 students, uh, sorry, 40 to 50 different nationalities that come to ISS. And last year, we had 47 nationalities out of 147 students. So students at ISS call our institute the mini United Nations because there's so many students from different background and different culture and uh, which is really a good mix if you really want to build your network and learn about culture and also develop your uh, understanding about the master, pro uh, the master program in development studies. Okay, uh, so these are, I can't, hang on here. Yeah. Okay, so these are the student numbers from particularly from Colombia that we have since 2011. So 10 years, uh, I have a 10 year chart here. Um, so last year we also, I, I'm going to start from what we have this year and last year. Uh, we have both years, we have nine students. So even during the pandemic last year, uh, we also this year of course, but we in both years, we still had nine students who attended uh, at ISS. Now, I know you're probably thinking what is the, orange um, uh, or, or orange bar there. Well, at ISS, we have uh, one master program. I will come to that later. We have the master program, which is the blue bar. And then we have the yellow bar, which is called the Mundu Smart Program, which is not part of ISS, but it, it's, it's an exchange program. But we also take count uh, as to how many Colombian students who came from this part as well. So uh, hopefully you're not um confused of this if you have any questions about this you can ask me later please <clears throat> so yeah 2019 it wasn't a good year 
we had only five students. So that is the reason why I also uh, went to Colombia in 2019, because I thought, okay, how come we have so little students? Normally we have 15 or 13, and then suddenly we just dropped to five. So I went there and then we started to pick up things and then we had nine and then of course Corona happened and we still have nine now. So hopefully in the future we can have more. So that was about our student numbers at ISS uh, and also about uh, how many students from Colombia that we have. Now I'll dive in to our master program. We only have one master program and it's called the Master of Arts and Development Studies. Uh, we also have a PhD, but I am not responsible for the PhD. And if you need any information about PhD, please visit our website uh, for more information. Um, so our master program is unique. It's not one year, it's not two years, but it's one and a half years. Uh, it carries 88 European credit points. Uh, we have five majors plus one master track as well. I will come into that later. Uh, we require an IELTS of 6.5 for you to uh, join in minimum uh, at ISS. Everything is taught in English. There's no Dutch, nothing like that. So uh, don't worry about that. We have several joint degrees with different universities around the world. Uh, we have several specialization. So you can choose a, a, a major and then after you choose a major, you can choose to specialize. The specialization is not a must, but uh, you can do it if you want. Uh, we only have one intake and that that is in September. So um, next year, unfortunately, because the summer just passed. And also we would like to see students having a good overall average grade and also coming from a social sciences background. Now, this social sciences background, I also mentioned earlier, uh, it, is, it is important, but in the past, we have uh, accepted students not from social sciences background. For example, we have accepted students from the communication background. Uh, he or she had a journalism uh, qualification, but she was accepted into ISS under special, special circumstances and she graduated, of course. So if you're not in the right background, do not worry. You, you can send me an email. I can assess your, your information and then I can advise you whether uh, for you to send an application or not. This is our major and the one track that we have. Uh, I will explain to you not in detail um, because of time and also it's a very big, uh, a lot of information. So it, I just explain to you a little bit and then I hope that you can also research yourself on a website because everything is detailed, uh, written details in our website. So we have the environmental studies, uh, agrarian and food and environmental studies. So this one is for students who are really into sustainability, food politics, uh, environmental issues, uh, you know, uh, or land, land grabbing kind of, uh, you know, uh, if you like these kind of things, this is what you probably want to think about. Economics of development is for students who are really into, well, economics uh, of, of a country. You, you, you really need to have the econometrics background if you're interested in this, because that is very important. The governance and development policy is for students who are mostly working in the government. Um, but of course, it's not all uh, working in the government, but uh, this is what uh, the major attracts. So also for policy making uh, within the government and so on. And then you have human rights, gender and conflict studies. Uh, this is the most popular major that we have at ISS. Every year we have a lot of students who join this uh, major because within this major, you will learn about feminism and you know, gender equality, the rights of uh, human rights, and conflict studies between uh, wars uh, around the world and so on. Also, let me remind you that all these majors, their focus are not in Europe, or it's not Eurocentric, nor is uh, it, it, it is very much focused on uh, the global South. Just bear that in mind. So you will not learn anything about Europe, you will not learn anything about United States, no, nothing like that. And then there's the social policy for development. This is also people who are working in the NGO or something like that, and they would like to learn about policy making to change uh, you know, agenda. So this is where students come in and 
take this major. And I will come into that later, but uh, this social policy development is somehow famous among Colombian students. I'm not sure why, but I made a research and all the, most of the Colombian students choose this. And next is the human rights. So these two are the most popular among Colombians. And then we have the uh, governance migration and diversity track. Uh, this is a brand new track that we have. Uh, it's, I think, four years, only three or four years that we started this. Uh, this is very unique and uh, because you will not only study at ISS, but you go in your first semester, but you also study in different universities. It's a, very, it's a bit complicated uh, track, let's say. I would advise you, if you're really interested in this, please have a look at the website because then you really get in the idea of what this uh, track is all about. Okay, so these are major by numbers uh, for the past five years. As you can see, the, uh, maybe you want to see at the most right corner uh, how many students we have in each major uh, for, uh, for this new academic year that started in September, last, well, last September. So we have the aggregate, we have 18 students. We have the economics, we have 24 students, 21 students in the governance, GMD, the, the, what you call that, the migration track, which I said is relatively new. We have only four students, uh, but it, it gets higher, hopefully in the coming years. And then there's the um, human rights major. So as I said, it's the most popular. We have 38 students. The social policy for development, popular among uh, Colombian students, 20. And then there's the Mundus map, uh, which I explained to you earlier, uh, which is uh, students do study at ISS, but they also have a tuning program uh, in Barcelona or the University of York in uh, Scotland. So in total this year, we have 146, well, actually 147 students. This is the academic requirement. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, social sciences, not uh, important, but not mandatory. Uh, work experience, uh, it's important, but again, if you have if work experience can also be internship experience. So do not worry if you do not have any. Um, we can assess that and see how we can help you or not. Uh, unfortunately, if there is nothing much you can do, then there's nothing much you can do. And your IELTS, as I mentioned earlier, 6.5 for uh, overall for the academic test. And then there's a TOEFL information here, as you can see, if you're willing to take TOEFL. Okay. So scholarship information. Now, uh, ISS itself, we do not provide full scholarship. Um, we have the ISS partial scholarship, uh, which is we give 30% discount from a tuition fee or 40% discount for a tuition fee. Now, I understand Cofuturo have also some kind of agreement with students who, uh, who, who studies at ISS. They will give, I think, 20% discount on a tuition fee or something like that. But if you get the Cofuturo scholarship, you cannot, you cannot, uh, how you say, you cannot combine that scholarship plus the ISS partial scholarship. However, if unfortunately you cannot get the call Futuro, then you can look at the ISS partial scholarship because it's also another way you can help to reduce your tuition fee. And on top of that, we have the ISS scholarship database. So please visit our website to find it. And then you just have to find for Click Colombia, and then you will see every scholarship that you can apply as a Colombian student uh, in this database. So, um, how many Kofuturo scholarship that was given uh, to us? So, as you can see, uh, 2018, we had five scholarships from Kofuturo, three in 2019, four in 20, and 21, five. Um, uh, so, it's every year is around this much uh, that we gave. Um, in addition, I already mentioned earlier, uh, most of the scholarship uh, that was uh, the Call for Tourist scholarship, the students are in the, SP, the social policy for development uh, major. <clears throat> okay, so now we go to the cost of living. 
it's about 950 euros every month, uh, including your accommodation. Uh, your accommodation is the biggest expense. Huh? It's about 550. Uh, we do have in-house, well, we do have ISS accommodation. We have three different locations. Uh, two being very near to ISS, it's about 30 seconds walk, not 30 minutes, 30 seconds. So it's literally behind ISS. So you can stay there. The accommodation costs about 450 to 550 a month. I said the approximately 950 euros, your cost of living. So you have to be very careful also what you do. Uh, Netherlands is not cheap, but if you know how to cook and you know how to space out a little bit with your financial then you can be okay so uh, but yeah let's it's not set in stone 950 is enough no it's can be more and if you know how to save can be less this is our tuition fee uh, it's seventeen thousand five hundred euros uh, for the next academic year we have the immigration fee and then we have the health insurance you must have health insurance is by law in the Netherlands that you must have health insurance. So in total, you have uh, tuition fee plus all this is 18,552 euros. Uh, sorry, yeah, around that. And then on top of that, you also have to show the Dutch government that you have an additional uh, money. Uh, I think in total is 33,000 plus a tuition fee in your bank account. Uh, to make sure that the Dutch government knows that you're actually coming to study and that you can sustain yourself. Because otherwise they think that you're going to come here to study and work and, you know, and that's not good. So now comes the more interesting part, uh, student life. So it's not all about education at ISS. The big chunk of your journey at ISS is, of course, education, but it's not all about it. There's also a lot of activities, a lot of chance for you to network with uh, different uh, your colleagues, because networking at ISS is the most important thing that you can do. Uh, you, you, know, you don't know where you will end up. You don't know who will help you in the future. So this is the place to be there. Different age group. So the youngest we have, this year is 21, the oldest was 43 or something like that. There is an age group uh, gap. However, both can learn from each other. So do not let it, do not, you don't have to think that, oh, it, I'm so young, oh, I'm so old. It's not like that. Everybody can learn from each other. And that is what makes ISS very unique. And on top of that, we also organize a lot of activities for staff and students, for example, International Day, which is very popular among uh, Latin American students because you have a lot of culture. So a lot of Latin American students, they normally wear their traditional costume and then they cook their traditional dish and dishes, uh, food, so they, <clears throat> they can introduce these kind of things to uh, other students who may not know about the culture of uh, Colombia, for example. And then there's sports day as well, study trips, field trips. So every Sunday, uh, we, we have a place for students uh, to also do sports uh, on top of, uh, you know, every Sunday you can play like badminton, football, basketball, volleyball, and so on. Uh, that's every Sunday we have that. And then you have your study trips. Study trips normally take place in January, February, March, either in between these. Uh, it happens within your major. So sometimes you will uh, actually all the time, you have to choose a country to go. So for example, two years ago, the agrarian major, they went to Romania. Uh, it is heavily subsidized, meaning ISS will pay most of the, uh, the expenses, including your flight ticket. I think you only need to pay like 50 euros or something like that for one week. And then everything else is covered by ISL. So that's pretty uh, decent, I think. And of course, parties. Uh, the Latin American students are really good at partying. Uh, they, they, they're really good at studying and partying because I have not seen any Latin American student fail before. So something must, they must be doing something right. So that's a good thing. Uh, we have the scholars. Scholars is a body of students, like. I think there's four students in scholars. Uh, there's the president, vice president, the treasurer, and there's another person, I'm not sure who. Uh, they represent the whole 
uh, all the students at ISS. So if you have any problems, uh, for example, you're not happy with your accommodation, you're not happy with the teaching quality or something like that, uh, you go to the student, uh, and, uh, you go to the scholars and then you inform them, okay, you're not happy with this, and then they will bring this information to our ISS management to do something about it. So this is a very uh, important um, position to have if you're a student of ISS. And here is our housing I mentioned earlier. You can see some pictures. Uh, it's very big and very spacious. Uh, most of the houses comes with um, bathroom and toilet, so you don't share it. The only thing you share is the kitchen. So some place you share a kitchen with six people, some four and some eight. So it depends which house you stay. <coughs> uh, yeah, okay. So I think I have come to the end of my presentation. Uh, you can always connect with us uh, on Facebook or YouTube. You can, on our YouTube page, there's a lot of videos that you can see um, that shows uh, student life. So if you want to know how ISS is like, please have a look at our YouTube page because you can then see how is it like. Um, I think that's it. Thank you very much. I uh, really appreciate uh, your time. Uh, to listen to our program, let's say. Thank you, Larry, for all the information. And we are waiting for some questions. While I want to uh, ask, uh, which recommendation will you give people that are in the process of applying about the time of preparation? Yeah, now. <laughs> so you already start to prepare now. I don't know when the Cofuturo scholarship will open, but if it's already open, you already prepare now because it's very important that you uh, prepare now, but take your time to apply, but prepare already now. So find out about scholarships, the various scholarships that uh, maybe Cofuturo have or other, other organization have, because the more scholarship you have and the more scholarship you apply, the better chances of you getting the scholarship and also the better your chances of actually coming to ISS to study. The, our application portal has, been, has already opened a month ago. So uh, you can already start to think about how you want to uh, make the process, a letter of motivation, it's very important. So all these kind of things you have to think about. Okay, thank you so much. Gabriela, yeah. have a question? Sure. Yes, thank you. Hi, Darren. Hi. Um, I was I was looking for a master, but it's in the School of Management. All the information that you give us, uh, it's like the same for the whole university, or I should find contact for the other school. Yeah. For okay, um, it's important. This is a good, very good question because there are some confusion because we are Erasmus University but we are a faculty of Erasmus University. So what, I, what the information I have just given you is very specific uh, for our faculty. However, if you want, is it management, right? Uh, sorry, could you repeat, please? You said you want information on management, right? Masters in management. Yes, I'm looking for management of innovation, master. Okay, then you need to check the Erasmus University website for that information, unfortunately, because we do not have that program at ISS. Okay, yes. Yes, I was like a little confused, but it's okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So we don't have more questions, Darren. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. All the information was very, very clear. So thank you so much for your time, for all the information, and for sharing your, your email also. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I should have put stick to the last slide. There it is. So study at ISS uh, also comes to me, directly to me. So when you apply for your program, and if you have any issues, uh, I'm the only person that you can come to. If you send to any other emails, the emails will come to me. 
because I'm the only one responsible for uh, doing this. And then, of course, there's the admission office. But the first person that your application or information comes is to me. So uh, if you have any questions, it's also to me first. Is that okay? Yeah, I hope that's clear. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Darren, and have a nice day. Yeah, thank you, Alejandra, for making this happen. And also thank you, everyone, for viewing this. Really hope to hopefully see you one day at ISS. Have a nice morning. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye.